Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screen record on the iPad Mini 6. So first of all, we need to activate the screen recorder. So just go to settings, then I want you to find control center. Then I want you to scroll down until you see screen recording. Just tap on the plus and now screen recording is enabled. Next, go to general and about, and I want you to make sure that you have more than five gigabytes of capacity available. If you have less than five gigabytes, there is a chance that the screen recorder will do the recording and then the recording will corrupt, meaning you will not have access to it. So I recommend you have more than five gigabytes of storage left on your iPad. Next, what I want you to do is activate the screen recorder. You do this by swiping down from the top right to activate control center. And now we have the brand new screen recording toggle. So we have a bunch of options. I want you to long press and then we have the settings. So we can tap on start recording and then we have microphone off. If we tap on the microphone logo, so just that again, you'll see microphone on. So when microphone is on, it will record uh, your mic audio. So if you're speaking, it will capture that. And it will also record your game audio. So if you're playing PUBG or if you're just using system sounds, that will be recorded as well. If you turn off the microphone, uh, if you're speaking, that will not be captured. However, the internal system audio like game audio, keyboard typing, that will still be captured. Once you have chosen whether or not you want microphone on or off, I want you to tap on start recording. There'll be a time down, which goes from three to one, and boom, the screen recorder has started. You can tell the screen recorder has started because there'll be a red bar at the top right hand side of the iPad mini screen. Now, every single action you are uh, doing will be recorded by the screen recorder. Opening up applications, closing up applications, everything will be recorded. Once you're done with the screen recording, I want you to tap on the red icon. Sometimes this will go away. I'll show you what to do if this goes away. So just tap on it, and then tap on stop. If the red icon went away, but you know you are still uh, recording, I want you to activate control center and you should see uh, this red uh, flickering. That means that the screen recorder is still on. You can either tap on that or long press and then tap on stop recording. If for some reason uh, this recording icon isn't flickering, that means that the recording corrupted. You will most likely not see this unless you ran out of storage on your iPad or locked it. So once we have done, what I want you to do is go to photos and you should see the screen recording you made right here. If you made a really long screen recording, it may take up to 10 minutes for the screen recording to save to the photos application. Do not worry, just keep your iPad unlocked because if you lock your iPad, you will actually corrupt the screen recording. So uh, if you're recording your screen at any moment you lock your device, boom, the screen recording will be corrupted. However, I didn't lock my iPad and you can see it has captured everything. So you can see me swiping across right here. And it should also show me opening up settings. There you go, boom, everything has been recorded. Now a bit of tips, you can tap on the edit button and you can actually trim the video. So let's say, you know, I want it to show me just opening up settings and closing. So I'll just start the crop here and I'll end the crop when I close out the settings app like this. And you just tap on done, just tap on done. There we go, it's a bit buggy here. And uh, we'll just tap on save video. And you can see now the screen recorder just shows me opening up settings and closing it again. Also, if you started the screen recording in portrait mode, however, uh, you, you know, the main part is in landscape mode, just tap on this button right here, so just tap on this. And then you see this rotate button, you can actually rotate the screen recorder. So let's say, uh, you know, you started in landscape mode, but the majority of the video is in portrait mode. Just cut out the landscape mode part, flip the video with the rotate tool, and then you're good to go. So hopefully this video does help you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe for brand new. Check out my playlist you see on the end screen right now for a bunch of iPad mini 6 tips and tricks. There's a ton of stuff which you definitely uh, will learn by checking out that playlist. So I recommend you check it out right now on the end screens. Or if you don't see the end screens, it's in the description down below. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.